Are you completely disillusioned with the whole idea of goal setting because every year you seem to set goals and never achieve them? So is goal setting pointless? Is it just some activity that you waste time on every single January? Or is goal setting really key to building the life you want to live? My life looks nothing like it did just a few years ago. And so I have some opinions on what works and what doesn't when it comes to designing your life and setting and achieving goals. So let's get into it. But before I get into the system, we need to get clear on one thing. Is goal setting a waste of time? Hell no, it is not a waste of time. Successful people set goals and I believe you would be very well served to do the same. Having a goal is not the problem. Failing to reach the goal, however, is. And that's what I wanna help you fix in this video. Goals are vital to success because they give you direction. They help you clarify what's important to you. If you have no goals, then your life is going to just decide for you where you end up going. It's kind of like your calendar. Unless you make a conscious choice of what should be added to the calendar, life is probably gonna quickly decide that for you. You'll say yes to invites that you should have said no to. You'll find your week packed with meetings, wrecking your ability to get any real work done, and you'll end up in places and with people that you don't really want to spend time in or with. You need to decide, what do I want my life to look like and start making decisions on a daily basis that align with that life. If you look at your life now and wonder how the heck you got yourself into your current predicament or why it is that you don't like where you live or who you spend time with or how much money you're making or what you're doing every day, then that's a sign that you've probably let the intentional decision-making go out the window and life has started directing your path instead of you directing it. So if goal setting is the key to going in the right direction, how do you actually achieve those goals? What is it that seems to stop you from achieving all of those goals you set for yourself? You wanted to already be a social butterfly with fantastic relationships and building wealth and doing work which lights your heart on fire with the most fantastic health and fitness routine to boot. But somehow, none of that is the case. Why and how exactly should you fix it? Your goals could literally be shooting each other in the foot. Say your goal for this year is to be healthier and make friends in a new city which you just moved to and you also want to grow your business. So you decide that come January 1st and every single week thereafter, you're going to book in for a weekly Pilates class come hell or high water to achieve your be healthier goal. You organized childcare for the hour and found a Pilates accountability buddy to go with and even picked the Pilates studio which is close to home to make it easier to go to. You maybe even read the book Atomic Habits and know that you shouldn't make your action steps too big or complicated. So instead of trying to achieve something unachievable like committing to a daily fitness routine or Pilates class, you're just gonna try to do one class a week to start and form the habit. But then an email lands in your inbox, the podcast that you've listened to for years and love has just had a cancellation and needs to fill a recording space and asked you to come on and be a guest and speak on your business topic, which would definitely help with the grow your business goal. The only available time to record, however, is during that one hour Pilates class. Your goals were both equally to be healthier and to grow your business. So how are you supposed to pick between the two? This is why I prioritize my goals. I rank order them from highest to lowest priority, which makes making decisions like these super easy. And honestly, I know full well, I am going to work my tail off on that top priority until that goal is accomplished. And then the next goal in the priority list, I might be able to make some progress on it, but probably not a heck of a lot and that is okay. So take some time to look at that goals list and rank order it and then decide accordingly. And be okay with honestly only achieving one goal at a time. I know this might feel slower to begin with, but I promise you, I didn't build a successful business, travel the world, set myself up for financial freedom and get my health in order all at the same time. They all happened one at a time. And in fact, I've noticed if you prioritize goals in a really intelligent order, sometimes achieving one can help you faster achieve the ones lower down. You could totally hate on the fact that getting healthy is only a luxury available to the wealthy, or you can just accept the fact that when you have money for a personal trainer and someone to cook healthy meals for you, it's gonna be a lot easier. And instead of wasting time and energy getting angry at that fact, you can just work with it. So honestly, I didn't actually focus on my health for a good few years while building my business. My business was the sole focus for a long time. It was the goal. And when it came to the podcast invite or the fitness class, 
I picked the podcast invite every time because I knew it would grow my business and that was my primary goal. And now that I have my business running well and it's profitable and it's where I want it to be, I can take those profits and free mental space and time and put that into my health. I can pay for blood tests and private classes or organic food because I prioritize the goals in the order which would make achieving the other goals as easy as possible. So here's your to-do list for achieving your goals. Step one, take a day or two, maybe a weekend, get outside of your usual space, go on a walk, go away for the weekend, sit and think about what do I want to be different in my life? What do I look at in other people's lives and am jealous of? Because that's probably a major indicator that you want what they have. So that's fabulous. That can be a goal too. And go ahead and make your goals list. Step number two, put them in priority order. Pick one top priority. Be strategic about it. Remember that solving a higher up priority could make solving the ones lower down easier in the future. Step number three, circle that top priority, that number one goal, and then put the rest of your goals as lower priority items down the list. Mentally accept that things towards the bottom of the list probably just aren't gonna happen right now. You'll focus on that number one priority now and maybe get a little bit of number two on your priority list, but the rest are probably just gonna be sitting in the wings waiting to be done when items higher up the list have been checked off. Step number four, start aligning your time and efforts and projects with that top priority goal. Pick what steps and tasks and projects and habits will help you achieve goal number one and then get to work. And don't you dare change directions or start prioritizing something else until you've gotten to where you wanna be with it. Now, what we've spoken about is great and all, but I promise you, if you don't do this next thing, everything we have discussed will be completely useless. For success on your goals, you need to be productive and get into a good routine. This video helps you do exactly that. So be sure to watch it next and you are gonna be making progress on those goals faster than you ever thought possible.